Hello everybody, Minostorm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we worked on evaluating the lines in this hub here. And upgrading the tracks. Getting the trains where they need to be. Making sure that everybody is good as far as transporting the you know cargo that needs to be transported. Um, actually, a couple of the trains needed to be downscaled because they were just too big. For the material that was being moved so um, hopefully that'll either make them lose less money or um, actually start making a profit which would be good so we are done here and we're moving on to the next freight hub which is this one over here outside of Cody, which Cody has grown pretty well. And I think the tram coverage is pretty good, though... I think it does need to be improved. We're going to manage the vehicles here real quick. So I'm just thinking about it right now. We'll deal with whatever that is in a moment. Okay. Train 29 and train 17. That's probably because we increased their length. Yeah, so that overhangs the station. All right, we're gonna have to flip you around. That's fine. We're gonna have to move this. Uh, we're just gonna have to move it a little bit further down the line. Uh, let's see. And you should be good. Okay, now flip back around and you should be good. Oh, ah, there is electric on there. Find the spot. There it is. Okay. Yep. There we go. There we go. Now it's good. Okay. Now, over here. Looks like we're going to need to improve some trains because we have one of these that is just absolutely choked with material. Okay. So, Durango Freight. You, sir, are the one that needs improvement. It needs to carry a lot more What we aren't carrying here is tons of silver or food. So, 
So, let's manage those vehicles. Let's reduce the number of fake cars on here. Let's cut down the number of hopper wagons here for food. Box cars, we probably don't need as many box cars. Or we could actually replace those box cars with different box cars. Because right now it looks like that we're using these box cars. Right? We could switch to these box cars instead. Right. Some of those on. Now these hopper wagons are just carrying grain. So we want to make sure that we have those. Uh, and we're going to need a lot more gondolas. Or hoppers. Nope, these don't carry what we need. What about these? No. Let's carry 20. 200,000 a year. These are what? 300,000 a year. We have what? Six? Let's put... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mediocre. Um, these are seventy five. Double head these trains. Now. I need to see how far they're going to overhang that uh, last station. sure that is going to be able to get so we're not going to run into the same problem that we just had basically alright 
Let's see where it's going to stop. Right there. All right, where's the crossover? Yep, 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 yep. We're going to need to move that. Okay, good. That's fine. I mean, there is this one, but... Let's put it here. Perfect. All right, let's get this track swapped out. Okay, these crossovers here are probably not really necessary, but we'll keep them around. That should help move a lot more material. Uh, has this thing ever made a profit? No. Let's see what it does when it arrives here and drops off all this ore and coal into this steel mill. Hey, it made a profit. At least for the moment, anyway. And all that coal we're now just uh, delivering should hopefully... Yes, 7,000 stored. It's, it's the coal that has been an issue. Probably because the, the iron ore has been choking the whole system. Ooh, now here's the next question. Is that far enough that... No, it isn't. Okay. I'm actually going to keep that train there for a second. Because we're going to move this right there. It is loading everything. Excellent. And you are bringing in another load of ore. Okay. 
All right, so I think we've we've the fact that this is already upgraded, which means we've already taken a look at this one and got it where it needs to be. So we don't need to worry about well, what line is that? Cody Oil. Okay. Cody Freight. Does Cody Freight need to be adjusted? It doesn't really. Uh, let's just take a look at the rest of that line. Over here, we have a whole bunch of ore waiting. We have lots of hoppers. The problem is that this is electric. So let's manage that vehicle. Let's edit it. Take that off of there. Let's put one of you on. I think it'll be good enough. Sure, we have 99 mile an hour wagons on there, and it's a 75 mile an hour locomotive, but it should be fine. Still unloading. Wow, that unloads slow. Uh, it definitely is large enough to haul out what it needs to haul out. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Alright, we're good. Then we'll call that line ready to go. And then we'll run it through its you know, replaced track just to serve as a visual reminder that we've done it. All right. Cody Oil is fine, Cody Freight is fine, Durango Freight, and so Virginia Freight is the one we need to take a look at. It's already uh, has a diesel engine on it, so this thing is not making any money. Okay. Um, it probably means we can make that a much, much smaller train then. Yeah, we can probably make it half the size of what it is. Let's actually replace the locomotive. Let's go with a small locomotive. We can drop down to this guy. And let's knock off one, two, three... One, two, three, one. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Let's see if that helps.
Let's get all this where it needs to be. I don't have to go around and upgrade all of the stations. I assume this one's been updated. Yeah, it has. Actually, what I might do is take care of all that off screen, actually, because it's just going to be a lot of the same stuff. There is one other rail freight system I want to take a look at, which we can go ahead and do. I think has already been done, which is this guy here. Yep. It's making a lot of money. That's good. Silverton Silver. All right, so that has been taken care of. All right, how are we doing over here? Uh, looks like we probably need more planes because yeah. All right, let's bring it up to six planes. Uh, passengers? Passengers are fine. In fact, we're making some pretty good profit on that passenger line, all told. So that's good. So I think what we'll do for the rest of the episode is go over here. Oh, no, let's go here. Vehicles. Age. What are the oldest vehicles that I have? Those are trucks. Those are fine. Those are trains. Those are fine. And a lot of these trains have been modified, so the wagons are old, but the trains have actually already been touched. Trucks, trucks, trucks. All oh, those are gondolas. Bus. That's one. They're using these. I'll probably actually swap them out for these. Uh, same thing for this. Swap them out for those. Okay. Let's see. Trams. Scotus. Yeah, manage those vehicles. Let's replace those with those. Oatman. They're running pretty full. Let's manage those vehicles. Let's replace those with... Let's see, 25. Let's see, let's go with these. Let's see how that does. 
Cripple Creek. Mm. Passengers. Oh, let's just replace them with the same because they seem to be doing all right. Just update them to be newer. Same thing here. A Laredo. Okay. Let's replace those with the bigger trams. There we go. Tram two, same deal. Port Arthur. The freight trams are fine. That's the best freight tram we have. Uh, City 3 S75. Let's replace those with the Visa uh, Vitias. Okay. Trucks, trucks, trams, planes, trains, planes, cargo trams, trucks. central line doing pretty well the trains are old let's see what type of trains are these They're electric multi units these are BR442 Oh, please don't. Audio kicking out. It's the autosave running. BR 1440, they are faster. One twenty five. What about you guys? One thirty eight, one twenty four. Yeah, let's go with these. That's good. Uh, anything else? Trams at Ruby. Let's replace those with the bigger trams. Uh, yeah, no need to replace those. Rams of Calico. These guys are running full. Okay. Manage those vehicles. Let's replace them with the bigger trams. There we go. All 
all of our air freight. That's fine. Those are our best trams. So we can't really improve things there other than add more trams. The Bannock Durango tram. All right, well, we could add, let's add three more vehicles to the route. Let's see how that works. You seem to be running at a fairly decent capacity. So those are good. That looks all right. Tram at Lubbock looks like it could stand to add another unit. There we go. Our capacities look fine there. Capacities look okay there. I guess you could probably use smaller trams. Let's go with the smaller trams. Bodhi. Add another... Another vehicle. Oof. Replace those with the smaller trams because they're nowhere near capacity. Denver looks like we need to basically. Yeah, just add more more units. Uh, that looks okay. That looks alright. The river line is running pretty good. Mm, that's making money, so that's okay. The buses are fine. Tram for Virginia, yeah, we need to duplicate all those. Manage vehicles, just, just copy them. There we go. Okay, and there we go. I think that's all the ones we replaced. All right. So, yeah, off screen. I'll go ahead and take care of getting all of these stations um, updated with the proper tracks. And then I think we're going to move on to the next project, which we'll see what that is. All right, so for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.